Rosalina loves to skateboard and wants to build a ramp to perform tricks. Her ramp will be a triangular prism. She wants the base of the prism to be a right triangle so that the ramp is stable. She designs it so that it's 2 meters long and 0.5 meters tall. Those are the legs of the right triangle. Now she needs to cut a piece of plywood for the face of the ramp. That's the hypotenuse of our right triangle. What's the correct length? Because we know the length of both legs, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 0.5, b is 2, and we'll solve for the hypotenuse c. 0.5 squared is 0.25, 2 squared is 4. Adding those gives us 4.25. How do we solve for c? Take the root of 4.25, and we have c is approximately 2.06 meters. Rosalina cuts the plywood and completes her ramp. She tries a trick. Hmm, the ramp isn't high enough. So Rosalina takes apart the ramp and extends the height to a length of one meter. She wants to use the same plywood for the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse is still the root of 4.25. She needs to adjust the horizontal length of the ramp so that the plywood fits. What should this horizontal length be? We can use the Pythagorean theorem again. A is 1. The remaining leg is B, our unknown. The hypotenuse C is the root of 4.25. 1 squared is 1. What is the square of the root of 4.25? 4.25. Subtracting gives us B squared equals 3.25. To solve for B, we take the square root of 3.25 which gives us approximately 1.8 meters. Rosalina adjusts the horizontal length until it's 1.8 meters long. Then she rebuilds her ramp. The plywood top, with the same hypotenuse as before, fits perfectly. She tries the trick again. Wow, nice work, Rosalina. You got enough loft this time. Rosalina's friend Kyrie is also building a ramp. Rosalina visits him to see how it's going. Kyrie's ramp is unstable. What's wrong? Kyrie asks Rosalina if she can tell if his triangular base is actually a right triangle. Kyrie's ramp measures one meter here with a horizontal length of three meters. His plywood is 3.5 meters long. Can we use these measurements to tell if this is a right triangle or not? Yes. We know the Pythagorean theorem tells us that if we have a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem tells us that if a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a triangle with the longest side c, then the triangle is right. So we'll substitute Kyrie's measurements into the equation. If the equation holds true, Kyrie's triangle is right. If not, the triangle is obtuse or acute. Let's substitute. Remember, C always represents the longest side, so we substitute 3.5 for C. We want to know if 1 squared plus 3 squared equals 3.5 squared. The left side simplifies to 10. 3.5 squared is 12.25. 10 does not equal 12.25. The equation wasn't true for these values, so Kyrie doesn't have a right triangle. That's probably why his ramp isn't working. Good thing Rosalina doesn't mind sharing. Remember, if we have a right triangle and two known sides, then we can always use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown side. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem lets us test three sides to see if they form a right triangle. If the equation holds true for the given values, then we've got a right triangle. Use the Pythagorean theorem and its converse to solve for unknowns and determine right triangles.